Welcome back everybody, Clint here. Alec here. We're with Classic Firearms and we just picked up a new manufacturer of optics and uh, before we even start talking about them, their name's Swamp Fox, 1 to 10 LPVO. And the only other, the only other 1 to 10 LPVO I've handled was $3,000. Yes, And this is not. This is not $3,000. In fact, it is a fraction of that. It like, is, but so. it's very, very nice. So far from what I've played with it so far, it is very nice, but the brand Swamp Fox. Mm -hmm. Swamp Fox? Swamp Fox? Yeah, what's Swamp Fox? Yeah. So Swamp Fox, guys, if you don't know, was after the name originated with Francis Marion. So if you don't know the name Francis Marion, you probably know a very famous movie that yeah. was made about him and his gang. Well, loosely, well, yeah, yeah, loosely, loosely refers to yeah. him. Yeah. Um, the Patriot yes. with Mel Gibson. Yeah. So he is the Swamp Fox. So, swamp Fox. Yes. So he led his forces in the swamp. No, rather, um, against the British in the Revolutionary War. Yeah. So, an American fighter, war hero, just straight up salt dog, <laughs> all about it, man. Heck I love yeah, it. dude. So, first off, so Swamp Fox, um, we've got a, pretty much not only their optics, but some of their different accessories like this mount that you have right here. But before mm -hmm. we start talking about that, let it, let's talk about this 1 to 10. And this is called the Arrowhead, correct? Yes. So the Arrowhead 1 to 10, like you said, there's not a lot of 1 to 10s on the market, mm -hmm. right? So 1 to 10s, I think, are kind of, we all know the LPVOs are kind of the future, right? Oh, yeah. Then that's what everyone's moving I mean, to. United States military is moving moving from the yeah. Trijicon ACOG, which yep. is super proven. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is the most proven optic on the battlefield, Yeah. No uh, the rifle combat optic. So they're moving away from that two LPVOs, so yeah, LPVOs are, are the future. Yeah, so, and again, right now, from mostly what we've seen, we've got one to sixes and one to eights, right? Yeah. Or if you don't want to go with the LPVO, you can go with like a set power, like yeah. the ACOG, like you mentioned, right. like, you know, four by 32. With this, you kind of get literally all in one. Yeah. So there's no need for realistically any kind of other optics out there. So with the one to 10, you have your low range magnifications all the way up yeah. to your 10X. So I mean, if you really want to reach out and touch targets, you have the 10X capability. Yeah. Or just um, to be able to identify targets. Yeah, exactly. Because that's something I think that we're starting to see in the modern battlefield where your close quarters mm -hmm. is 200 yards. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's yeah. and when people hear close quarters, you're thinking in a house. Mm -hmm. A lot of the modern engagements that we're getting in now over desert terrain, things mm -hmm. like that, are happening in two to three hundred yards. And a four power optic is great, but now we're running into the issue: is is that a friendly? Is that a hostile? Or is that a yeah. civilian? Exactly. Right, and we need to be able to identify those targets or not targets. Mm -hmm. So having that power, that 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 ten power, would yeah. be great to be able to just say, oh. Yep, no, that's a good guy. Let's lower lower weapons, yeah, right? Yeah, let's not so, do that. Yeah, right. So having that option is great. What more can you tell us about this guy? So what's cool too about this is the field of view on this thing is fat. <laughs> and literally it says <laughs> it right on the box, which kind of caught me off guard. Yeah, but it says so, fat, fat field of view. view. So Let me see if dummy uh, thick field of view. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys would be able to see it or not, but it says fat sight picture. <laughs> Which is awesome. One sold. <laughs> yeah, one because it, it's funny, but yeah. two, I mean, it really is. So with this guy at one X, you have 115 at 100 yards, yeah. which is a huge field of view, and the glass yeah. clarity on this is like it's great. It's second yeah. to none. Honestly. I mean, obviously I mean, we're inside, and we got lights facing yeah. us right now. I'm excited to take this out to the range, which we will be doing here in just a moment, and actually getting some shots on target with this guy. But you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I and also, then a 10x. Sorry, not to cut you off. Yeah, but no, a 10x, you got. Uh, I want to say it's 12 or 13, which is pretty big for that magnification level that you're yeah. at too. So great glass, great field of view, and you have a lot of adjustments with that one to 10. Yeah, and the fact too that it comes. So uh, before I get carried away the uh the eye relief on it mm -hmm. it's forgiving it is even forgiving. even at you know your maxed out there on 10 power try to find something that i can actually like <laughs> look at yeah. you know you'll notice guys whenever you and this is true for just about any magnified optic your eye relief is going to start to get less and less forgiving the more power that you add to your magnification or just the higher you zoom let's just keep it that way and it's nice to find an optic that mm -hmm. actually allows you to go from that one power eye relief to that 10 power. Now that's not true with this one. I will say that you still have to kind of like play with it to get right on target, you know, mm -hmm. or just to make sure you don't have that scope shadow. Yeah. But it's a lot better than some of the other ones that I've that Yeah, I've and that's with. kind of the nature with LPVOs in general. And that's why even with this whole setup, which we'll talk about this little red dot guy yeah. that's on here in a minute. So just the scope in and of itself in this mount that's on here. I mean, that's again, like I said, kind of the nature with LPVOs, yeah. right? So again, training is very important, if, especially with this new wave that's yeah. coming in with optics. 
is going to require a little bit more training, a little bit more yeah. time behind the gun, which I know is hard right now with ammo getting. So shameless plug, make sure you're signed up to the, uh, the ammo alerts and text the little thing down here. Text video to the number you see at the bottom yeah. of the screen or the little QR code. You're probably yeah, right so I just put pointing it's it over, over there. Somewhere. Let's just put it right in the middle. Yeah. It might be easier that way. There we Take go. a photo of that. You'll get prompted to sign up for our text alerts. Be notified for when that ammo hits. And we are getting it regularly. You just gotta make sure you're one of the first to be in line, all right? Yeah. Uh, something else that I like about this guy is you do have night vision settings on this, which is awesome. And on top of that, what I'm noticing on, as far as like the illumination on it, uh, there's no hard stop. Right, you have cutoffs in between each brightness. on and off, yeah. Yep, which I like a lot, and you can just go mm -hmm. for however you want, have it set, whatever. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. And also, too, your turrets are locking. Yeah. So right now, can't change my elevation or my windage. Pop this guy up. Now you can make your adjustments. Really fine adjustments. I would too. say, and what I like too is it's very, very fine adjustments, yeah. and it's a very positive tactile click. Yeah. So you know, we've played with some other more, I don't want to say budget friendly, but more middle of the pack scopes and yeah. the turrets are just very mushy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's now that yeah. one. I mean, you guys can almost hear that. I think like that's, yeah, that's it's, good. It's loud. Yeah. And so I, I like that a lot. It's very, very positive. Mm -hmm. And the mount that we have this now, this is a 30 millimeter tube, 30 millimeter mount. Uh, the mount is pretty neat because it comes already with these little mounts. Well, you can see those little screw settings right here, right here here and obviously where we have our little red dot mounted. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, so the hostile engagement mount that's on this guy, so one, if you can't tell, it's a thick boy. Mm -hmm. But it's a thick boy, but it doesn't add a lot of weight to your rifle, which is really nice. So I don't know what kind of voodoo dark magic they yeah. did to make the, the mount itself as light as it is, but for being a cantilever mount like this, mm -hmm. it's very strong, very robust, but it doesn't add a lot of weight, which is very nice. So like you said, and it's cool too, instead of having to purchase some kind of additional accessory or some kind of offset mount, yeah. Swap Fox kind of threw everything in together and they said, hey, we know a lot of people are moving towards this anyways, why not just put it on right. the same mount, right? So you get a ton of mounting options in different places. You can also, you know, move your scope around back and forth. So that's really nice. Yeah. So the little red dot guy we got on here, which is this dude right here. So this guy is the Justice. So this is actually a pretty big RMR. Maybe yeah. actually, I think one of the biggest on the market right now. It's yeah, a one it's, by 27. You definitely have a large field of view on mm -hmm. it, large glass. And I think for its purpose on here, it's, yeah. it's ideal. Yeah. So one thing I will say though, is it's gonna take some getting used to at the range, which again, we'll be hitting there in just a moment to try that out some, because you're gonna notice your cheek weld, mm -hmm. you don't have any. So while looking at it like here, I'm perfect, you know, but if I wanna transition from the magnified optic and I don't wanna take the time to find my throw or whatever, yeah. and I just wanna go here, you know, I'm kinda have to move completely off the rifle itself, off the stock, mm -hmm. which again, with training will probably be fine for close engagement, super close engagement. I will be pretty happy with that, I think. So we'll take it to the range, we'll run it and see how it goes, but what can you tell us more about this uh, this optic here? Yeah, so this guy right here, so it has kind of the same thing, incremental on and off with your brightness adjustment settings. Um, both of these have very, very good battery life. I think the dot is coming in at 50,000 hours with yeah. now using the battery saving mode, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then this guy as well, it's not on here, but I think it's roughly around the same. What, um, I, what I can say is I'm turning up the red dot. It's mm -hmm. three MOA dot. Yeah. I'm turning it up as bright as I can go right now, and I'm not getting a whole lot of bleed, which is awesome. No, so glass yeah. clear down, that's good too. And then yeah. um, you'll see, I don't know if you can notice, but this is actually a metal shield that's over top of the optic, right? So these guys were made for duty use optics at a really good price point. So like I said, they kind of thought of everything. Now this is a separate piece from the actual RMR, so it does have to be purchased separately. Mm. But, you know, with this being, if you wanted to use it as a duty rifle or anything like that, or- Or know, just have it mounted to a scar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so again, kind of protects that optic a little bit. It just, whoop, slips in there really yeah. nice and easy. Um, final talking points about yeah. this guy too. Um, glass edge reticle, super nice. Mm. Um, again, I think just if you wanted to throw all this on a package, yeah, I mean, it looks great, it feels great. And, I mean, the price point is just yeah. bananas. So make sure you guys are headed to classicfirearms.com to check this out or signing up for our emails because we should have an email coming out very soon all about the stuff that we're talking about. So make sure you sign up for our emails. And of course, signing up for our emails, may as well get signed up for our giveaways, which is actually one of these it's right there. <laughs> but we'll talk more about that later. Let's continue on here. Let's show off a couple of other ones. You got a little tiny guy over there. Let's talk about that next. I do. Well, before yeah. we do that, why don't you uh, do your job and get to the range and shoot this? I. 
I'm good with that. All right, so out here with the Swamp Fox Arrowhead 1 to 10, which is awesome, and the 1 by 27 little red dot, the Justice. And I will tell you, it's gonna take a little bit of training to get that offset just right. So most of the time, like Alec and I were talking back in the video room, that 45 degree offset that's usually rail mounted or just somewhere on the Picatinny of your upper receiver of your AR or whatever, sits a little bit further out so you maintain that cheek weld, but this you just kind of have to get used to it just a little bit. So you can either move your head placement about here, and shoot, or what I'm noticing too is I can still rotate and maintain a chin weld, but I'm using my left eye to get my shot. Other things you can do, but that one to 10 on this guy, if I crank it on over, let's just see where we're at here. I mean, obviously we're at no distance that 10 power needs to be used, but it's still showing up super clear. I'm definitely a fan. All right. Perfect. Let's go talk about our next set of optics. Next up, we've got ourselves a little prism optic over here. Yeah, pretty and, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, yes. So uh, before I give my, my thoughts on it, what is it? So this is the Blade uh, prism optic. So this one that we have on here is a one by 25. They also have another prism optic that we don't have right now, but it's the Trihawk, so that mm -hmm. one's a 3X. So this one is really cool for a couple of reasons. So one, this thing is built like an absolute tank. Yeah, well, I'm already noticing, I don't see other than, that might actually still be metal. It's all metal. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was <laughs> except say, for maybe, the push buttons. Yeah, I was say, other than the push buttons, maybe this bezel uh, that actually, you know, adjusts for um, your parallax air. But I mean, yeah, this thing's solid. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty legit, man. So this thing, Coming in, super nice glass clarity as well. And again, something that is kind of a trend with all of their optics is the field of view is incredible. So yeah. this guy has about 73 at 100, um, which is nice. Granted, it's only a 1X, but you know, for its intended purposes, it works very, very well. And you can yeah. still engage out to two or 300 yards with this with oh, yeah. practice. Oh, yeah. um, so the reticle that's on this guy is pretty cool. So it's a glass etch reticle, obviously with it being a prism optic, um, but it has a bullet rise compensation. So it's kind of weird to think about because most are bullet drop compensation, yeah. right? But with this being a 1X, um, you know, uh, optic. So I don't know if this will be easy to show or not on camera, but if you're looking at the reticle that's in this guy right here, so if you're aiming with the bottom part that's down here, there's a little dot that's right above it. So mm -hmm. in those close quarters engagements, so like five to seven yards, yep. you'll actually aim with the lower ring that's on the optic. And then there's a little dot under the, uh, the yep. triangle. I so see. that's actually where your bullet's going to impact. That's, pretty, that's yeah. pretty neat how they how they uh, came up with that. And one one thing I'm noticing too is just how clear that amber color is showing mm -hmm. up. Yeah, when I saw it was amber, I'm like amber. I don't know if I'd ever really yeah. use that, but uh, I can see where it's just it's more. I don't know. It feels more natural to my eyesight, unlike red or something along those lines. So yeah, that's, that's and it's nice too because it doesn't burn your eye out. Yeah. you know if you're looking through it, especially if you're at higher um, not magnification, but yeah. higher uh, levels of uh, power. Yeah, because um, I was just like kind of playing with my eyesight just to see if it was gonna bother me at yeah. all. But no, it feels very natural, which, mm -hmm. I, which is pretty cool. And you can pick it up too. And I think the main reason that they went with the amber color is it's very very easy to pick up even in the yeah. brightest daylight settings, right? So like red traditionally kind of bleeds out. Yeah. you know, very bad. And same thing with green. For me, I like green a little bit better. Yeah, because it picks up a little bit easier than red. But this amber color that they've got is really cool. Yeah, and just um, to show you guys off a little bit more of the optic. There you go. Yep, so this guy has 12 brightness settings as well, kind of like the uh, the one to 10 that we just looked at a minute ago. So you have 10 traditional brightness settings and it blew my mind, this one is actually night vision compatible as well. So you have two night vision settings wow. on this guy. Um, it has the shake awake technology, um, kind of what SIG got famous for when they yeah. first put those or, out. Uh, Hollow Sun yeah, Hollow Suns, one. yeah. For those of you that don't know, pretty much after uh, a set amount of time that it remains still in a pretty much stationary it's position. 225 seconds. 225 seconds, really? Yeah, that's what it says. Okay, so I know a lot of them do like hours. Mm -hmm. So for that to be, okay, for pretty much just a few minutes, that's pretty impressive. So ultimately it saves the battery life because it'll turn the illumination off. However, it's still an edged reticle, so you're not losing that. But the moment you pick up your gun, and it senses that shaking, mm -hmm. then it wakes up and it's shaked awake, right? And then it wakes up and turns your reticle right back on or turns the illumination on, I should say. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty neat stuff. Yeah, and with the glass edge reticle too, like you said, you don't even need the battery in it. You'll yeah. still be able to pick it up really clear. Yeah, or if um, your battery dies, yeah, it's exactly. good. Yeah, exactly. Um, and 50,000 hours plus 
is what this one's rated for. So yeah. again, with that shake awake technology, I mean, who, who's yeah. to say, you know, how long, right. or really, I mean, you could keep a battery in there. I mean, realistically, you could probably change it every couple years yeah. and you'll be all right. Um, other than that, this does have a plus one or two uh, little diopter on the back so you can adjust for your eye settings. Yep. Um, again, pretty much everything on this guy is still, so. Yeah, and it does come with the lens caps as well, which is pretty nice. And also too, it does come with a little honeycomb flash hider right up here, the glare kill. Uh, kill flash. There we go. Yeah, trying, to, flash. Trying, there to put go. Them, trying to get it all together there. But uh, anyway, neat that it comes with all of that battery tube right back down here. And what type of battery does it uh, take? Uh, this one's CR's uh, 123A. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. cool. All right, I'm going to run to the range and shoot this one now. Sweet. Out here with the blade now. Oh, yeah. And of course, shooting the LWRCI is awesome. But anyway, the blade is great. So it being a prism optic, you still have a little bit of eye relief, but it does have an etched reticle, which is great. And as you saw in the box earlier, it has this amber glow to it whenever you do turn on the illumination, which will be great for those low light settings. But as far as getting a great sight picture, good field of view, feels great. <laughs> Tearing that target up too. Feels good. Check out the blade. And we got one last optic we want to talk about today, so let's go talk about the Sentinel. Now next up, looks like we got ourselves a little compact red dot here. And uh, what are we looking at? So this guy is their Sentinel. So it's a 1x16, 3 MOA dot. But what makes this one cool and why this has really been needed for a long time. So this is my Canik TP9 Elite SC, but this optic is specifically made for RMSC cut optics or your micro carry pistols. So, you know, micro carry pistols have really kind of taken over the market, honestly, right. because they offer a lot of capacity, right? So even with this one with the 13 plus one, but it's still a very, very small gun. Mm -hmm. Or we've seen the Hellcat or the 365, yeah. Glock 43, X, well, all the models that are out right now. But there hasn't really been a red dot other than one or two that are heck of a lot more expensive yeah. than this one is yeah, that's um, sure. that have come out for this guy. So again, uh, on here we have the shield too, so you don't have to put that on there. Right. Um, so I thought you, it would be a cool addition. Yeah, so if you wanted to maintain as something as compact as possible, you don't have to add the little armor cover. Um, but I am noticing too, there are no no buttons here to turn it on or off. Yeah, so it's yeah. funny you mentioned that. So this guy is yeah. literally on all the time. Yeah. So there's no way that you can turn this thing off short of breaking it or yeah. taking it off your gun and then taking the, uh, the battery out. So, yeah. And what'd you say the battery life was on it? This yeah. guy says two plus years. Two plus years. So it's That's very, awesome. very long time. So what's cool about that is there's realistically nothing that can go wrong, right? Yeah. Like if you pick this thing up, it's gonna be on and you're right. gonna be ready to go. Yeah. So, you know, in an unfortunate situation, if you have to use this in a defensive, you know, scenario, right. you can guarantee that your optic is gonna be on and ready to go. That's awesome. Now what I'm noticing too is you have your little light aperture, not aperture, but your, your pretty much adjustment or not. What am I trying to say? Um, the dark voodoo magic button. That's it right yeah. there. So what you'll notice is that this is actually what's picking up your light brightness around you. And if you work, walk into a darker environment, just waking up or whatever, mm -hmm. you'll notice that the reticle or not the reticle, but the dot itself will be a little bit lower in brightness. And then the moment I move my thumb off, that thing brightens yeah, right it's up. it's instantaneous, right? Yeah, and it is instantaneous. It's not like a slow transition or anything mm -hmm. like that. So if you do walk into a dark room, you don't have to worry about, you know, overexposure or just that absolute bleed that you might get. But if you walk into a bright setting, it'll yeah. turn up and you'll be able to pick up your red dot. So that is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, so, and that's completely automatic as well, like you said. So automatic yeah. brightness adjustment. So again, whether you're going from a light room to a dark room or whatever, this thing will filter itself on and off. And it's nice too, because if you think about it, right? So realistically with the EDC, this guy's hanging out in your pants every day. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Kind of dark in there. Yeah, so right. again, that, that brightness is dimmed all the way down. So I think that is one of the reasons why Prolonging the battery, battery life is yeah. so long on this guy, because it's dimmed the, you know, the lights down. And if you pull it out, bam, it's gonna pop on and it's instantaneous. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, uh, do you mind if I take your gun to the range? Oh yeah, you can borrow it. Okay, cool, I'm gonna borrow your gun here. Canic TP9 Elite, I, I, I keep playing with this too because this thing is, yeah, it feels good. Bad. Yeah. Like I said, I feel bad, man, because honestly, I mean, I've been carrying this gun for a while now and I've been neglecting it a little bit, yeah. so I just went ahead and bought the optic. So yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what, I like this, it fits on my gun, which, you know, again, there's one or two more out there yeah. that are 
probably two, three times the price that <laughs> yeah, this right. one is. So uh, I'm curious, man. See, uh, let me know how it holds up. <laughs> Will do. All right, let's go take it to the range, give it a couple of shots. So now we're out here with the Sentinel, and this little guy I was initially worried about bringing out on such a bright day like this, like will that little auto brightness setting or device right here actually work? Because I know it worked great in a indoor type setting. I can actually put my thumb over it, watch it dim. In fact, I can't even hardly see it. Yeah, I can. And then taking my thumb away, I can actually watch it really brighten up, which is pretty cool. Because uh, if you can't see your optic, that's not any good, right? So let's see if we can actually hit the target with this guy. All right, that feels pretty good. Now what's cool about shooting with a red dot, especially if you have it co-witness or one-third co-witness, is uh, it's just a red dot all you have to do. You don't really have to worry about lining up sights. As long as your red dot is on target, you're gonna be on target. Which is great. Now, something you do have to worry about when shooting with a red dot, if you haven't done it before, is it takes some practice and training as does anything else. So make sure you're hitting the range, even doing those dry fire exercises where you're just bringing up your gun, making sure you got good sight alignment, coming back again. And since this is Alex Everyday Carry, I would expect him to be coming from a concealed position up and then drawing his firearm and making sure that he's actually on target regularly. I hope you are, Alec. Anyway, let me keep shooting your gun. It's actually pretty nice, all right? There we go, I'll take that. So the Sentinel's a nice high sitting little RMR type optic or just a pistol red dot, feels good. And it also still has that protective sleeve on it, which is pretty nice that you can get separately from this guy. So again, check out Swamp Fox, their entire line of optics that we're now carrying at classicfirearms.com. And I think you guys will be pretty impressed with it. I know I am so far. Ah, and also too, all of their products feature a lifetime warranty on it, so you're covered in that aspect too. Drop it, all that type of stuff, you know, natural everyday care and things. If your light goes out on you, your illumination is no longer there, your reticle is somehow turned upside down, whatever happens, they'll take care of you with their lifetime warranty. It lasts a lifetime. Anyway, last thing I wanna talk about is our current giveaway which is this guy right here. This 50 shades of FDE goodness is the SCAR 17. We do have it with the Tango Down vertical grip, Trijicon VCOG optic on it, one to six power, which is awesome. A whole lot of fun to shoot, works well. Still has that stupid reciprocating charging handle, but maybe one day they'll give us a gun that doesn't have that, I don't know. Anyway, FN if you're watching. <laughs> Love you guys, I mean it. But uh, if you haven't seen our video announcing this, as our current giveaway, I would 10 out of 10 recommend because if you like Tannerite and you like seeing stuff get blown up, go check that video we did with Braden Price because we blew up his old Polaris. And I've been seeing a lot of your comments too on both his video and ours saying, why didn't you just give me the ATV? That looked like a perfectly fine ATV. Well, if you know Braden, you would know for a fact that was not a perfectly fine ATV. It didn't even run. We had to tow it out there. so. We did him a favor by blowing it up and we did all of you guys a favor by blowing it up. So anyway, make sure you go into classicfirearms.com to get your entries. A simple code word will get you 400 entries among many other ways to get entries, but the code word is Polaris. Why? Because we blew one up. P-O-L-A-R-I-S. I think most of our Marines can figure out how to spell that. Good luck, guys. And we'll leave it off there. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless y'all. And we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.